Not like life. Exactly. Hey. I heard the cops found Kevin's remains. Yeah, I know. It's terrible. Makes you realize how fragile life is. Well, it seems like no one's home. Hey, Karen, wait a minute. I know you haven't made a decision about us, but I don't want you to be afraid of me. I'm not. I, I, I've been busy, that's all. Hmm. What? Just tell me, Karen, if it's over, I, I can handle it. I understand. Believe me. But under circumstances like this, where, where life and death kind of slaps you in the face, I, I don't want to waste time not saying the things I feel. I love you. I don't want this to be over. What about you? There's something you should know that might change your mind. Like? Like, Ricky Garza. I, I don't know how it happened, but it did. Well, are, you, are, you, are you saying... I, I... I slept with him. Jamal, man, how's life, dude? Uh, you know, it could be better. Why you got that stupid looking grin on your face? Look like a damn idiot. No reason? Yeah, right. There's gotta be a lady. So, who is the unlucky girl? You must be over Casey. Uh, Dr. Karen Wexler. You mean like Frank and Karen? There's no way I'm letting you mess up things with them. Married? Oh, we're finally married. I can't believe it. Are you happy, Rafe? Mm. Yeah, sure. Sure? What, is something wrong? No, no, nothing. I, just, mm. I mean, everything today's mm. been incredible. Well, the first time's always amazing, isn't it? Mm. First time? Yeah, you know. No, I, I don't know. This isn't the first time. <laughs> just according to you. You know, you can't just burn away your guilt. That's not what I'm doing, Lucy. What are you doing? What did you do, Allison? I want to know. How did you do it? How did you kill my husband? It wasn't me. It was Rebecca. Rebecca! I see. So Rebecca burns the body of my husband and somehow buries the ashes on your family's property. Is that it? You said it yourself. That she was responsible for Kevin's disappearance. It was because of the candle from the portrait. Shut if we up. Shut up. I don't want to hear about that stupid candle. There is no special magical candle. I was such a fool for listening to you. No, you weren't. Yes, I was. You weren't. Kevin is dead. You killed him. You took him away from me, and, and not my prayers, and not some magic candle, nothing! Do you hear me? Nothing is gonna bring him back to me, nothing! <laughs> I didn't do it. Then you had help, didn't no. you? Who? No. Who helped you? I want to know, because Alice and I swear by God, everything that's holy, I will get them. I will punish them for helping you. Who? Lucy, please don't stop believing. Not you, okay? Believe? What am I supposed to believe in? Your, your delusional fairy tales, Allison and Zed? Oh, my God. I was such a fool. You used that, didn't you, my belief? It was just no. a scam. You know, I want to... I wanted to believe you so bad, I just completely lost touch with reality. I wanted to believe in your stupid mystical candles and that Kevin was going to come back if we freed Rebecca. I wanted to believe and I lived day and night on that hope. All false hope. No, it wasn't. You, what are you going to do now? You're going to keep blaming everybody else like you've been doing. You blame Rebecca and Livy. How about, how about the man in the moon? You know something? Maybe, just maybe, Livy was right. 
you are some sort of witch and you've bewitched everybody in this town to believe in your lies. You know what? I don't believe you anymore. I don't believe anything anymore because Kevin is gone. So tell me, Allison, do you have a spell left in there? Why don't you use it? Because that's the only way you're going to help yourself because nobody else is going to save you. Nobody. I don't know what to say. I mean, our, our first time as husband and wife was special for me. I I don't know. Obviously not for you. No, I didn't say that. Then what's, what, what's your problem, Ruth? What's wrong? Why can't you enjoy this, enjoy us? I, I don't know. I, I just keep getting this feeling. I don't know where it's coming from, that, 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 that something is missing. Like, there's somewhere I should be, something I should be doing. And, and it has nothing to do with you, because, you, because you've been terrific. Yeah. You've been wonderful, amazing, everything. But I can't <laughs> unlock your past. And it's torturing you. I guess. I don't know. God, Ray, do you know that I would give anything sometimes to be in your place? What do you mean? What do I mean? God, to not, to not have a past, to not have so many painful memories isn't the worst thing in the world. Now, I haven't had an easy life. There are things that happen to me that, that I can't talk about with anyone, even you. You know, I've been lonely, it seems, my whole life. Everyone I've ever trusted or loved, they've, they've always left me. And this town is where my father died. And there are memories, painful memories of him everywhere. And because of his death, nothing will ever be the same. So I've got to get out of here. I, I can't be in poor Charles anymore. Do you understand that? So I need to know, Rafe, does your past mean more to you than our future? You know, that, that would be the most amazing, wonderful wedding gift. If you can just concentrate on our future, and on the wonderful memories we're going to make together as husband and wife. Attention, wait, Mr. Osborne, last seat of the... And made you Frank and Karen's keeper, huh? Frank is my friend, Ricky. And Karen is his lady. What are you doing? Yeah, whose clothes he tore off on the 6 o'clock news. Did you happen to catch that, Jamal? Yeah, yeah, I caught that. And you just stepped right on in, didn't you? Where is this coming from? Look, sometimes a guy gets messed up for no reason at all. Sometimes it's for stupid reasons. But what's not cool, Ricky, what's not cool is some other guy boosting his girl because while well, he's trying to work things out. Huh? Yeah. And no, this is not about me and Allison. Mm. Hey, I didn't bring it up. Well, you're insinuating like it is. I'm sorry that you and your lady didn't make it. All right? And this dude walked in and poached her before you had a shot at working things out. Look, but I wasn't no. looking for anything to happen between me and Karen. All right? I just happened to be there when your boy Frank went postal. But now that I am, now that I've gotten to know her, now that we got this connection, for somebody like me to have a shot at an amazing woman like Karen, you know what? I'm gonna go for it, and I sure as hell ain't gonna lose any sleep over a head case like Frank Scanlon getting kicked to the curb because he messed up with Karen. I won't. You and Ricky. Me and Ricky. Makes sense, I guess. When I couldn't trust you anymore, Frank, when I didn't even recognize you, Ricky was just... There. And one thing led to another, and, and we just got close. Do you have feelings for the guy? I don't know. It's complicated. I needed to feel good about myself again, Frank. I, I, so I don't know if I was responding to genuine feelings or if I just needed somebody to tell me that I was okay, that I wasn't that poor, pathetic girl that took my clothes off in front of men, that I wasn't the girl that you saw. So, uh, where does it stand now? I mean, you and him. Oh, 
we haven't made plans, if that's what you mean. Good. I understand how it got to that point with Ricky. And I have no right to ask you this, but I'm going to. Is there any way you can ever look at me again as the man you once loved, the man you wanted to marry? Just forget about Ricky for right now. Do we still have a chance, Karen? I know you've been through something really terrible. And, and me losing my memory can't possibly compare to you losing her father. But I, I just can't stop thinking about all those missing years. You know? What happened to me? How I got here? Who, who I met along the way? You know, they... They say when you want something so much, you never get it. But as soon as you let it go, it comes back to you. Okay, so, so maybe I should not force things, huh? Rafe, this is just the beginning for us. I will make you so happy. You won't feel like you're missing anything. Life will be good for us. Maybe I just focus on what's right in front of me, right now. You. My beautiful, beautiful wife. Lucy, you can't give up, okay? Just remember all of the things that you saw and that you felt. You always believe in the impossible. Don't, don't, don't say the word believe to me because you used my beliefs against me. You set me up and then you pulled the rug out from under me. You took Kevin away from me. And you know what you did by doing that? You've taken away my faith. You've taken away my belief in the universe. You've taken... I don't believe in magic anymore. I don't believe that good things happen to good people because my husband is gone. Maybe that was Rebecca. Re I, don't, I don't want to hear Rebecca. Don't, please don't say that name to me. Don't you see? You kept telling me, let's help Rebecca. We'll put on that stupid little play for the judge and, and maybe Kevin will come back. He came back to me, didn't he? He came back to me in a pile of ashes. Ashes, out, and that's what I got. So you want me to believe? Okay. I'll tell you what I believe in. I believe that you're a liar. And you're a killer. And so, by God, if you want to burn down this barn and add arson to all the charges against you, go ahead. But it's not going to erase what you've done to me and my family. It won't. Lucy, please don't give up on me. You're going to have to come with us, Allison. Why? The judge who to bail in light of the new evidence. Feel good. Are we gonna get into some kind of rumble or something over this Karen thing? You know, Ricky, if I thought it would actually do some good, I would whip your ass. <laughs> yeah, in your wildest dreams, buddy. Yeah, come on, whatever. Hey, I ain't messing around here, man, all right? I really believe that Karen and me can go the distance. Yo, Ricky. Hey, what's up, guys? How you guys doing? Jamal, right. this is Jay and Shannon, the band I was talking to you about. So, so what's going on? What's up? Well, we talked it over, and we want you to sit in on drums for the gig tomorrow night. <laughs> what? What? Are you serious? Yeah. I'm there. I am so there. Thank you. <laughs> oh, man. Ricky Garza is on a roll. I will see if I can check you out tomorrow night. See if you're any good. Gracias. Man. Tomorrow night is gonna be the most exciting night of my life. And I want Karen front row and center. 
I know you're waiting for some sort of answer, Frank. But I honestly don't know what to say. I, I, I really do want to trust you again. And the last thing I want to do is pressure you. I know I broke something between us. But if there is even a slight chance we have another shot, I am going to fight for that, for us. I mean, you can't tell me Ricky traveled through time for you. No, he's pretty much stayed in this dimension so far. We had something timeless, Karen. Magical. And it's still there. I feel it. That's why I'm going back to our special place tomorrow night. The bleachers at the high school, you remember? I remember. If you show up, I'll know there's a chance. Nothing more. Just a chance. If you don't come, I'll hate it, but I'll understand. All I'm asking you to do is to follow your heart. Oh, I, I gotta go. It's getting late. So maybe I'll see you tomorrow night. Maybe. feeling she needs me. Let's go, Allison. Lucy. <gasps> Doc. I sure tried. I really tried to hold on. I, I think I did a pretty good job there for a minute, don't you? I mean, I, I kept that little flicker of hope going, you know? Because I kept thinking, you're just out there missing or, or, or lost or wandering or something, and you're trying to come home to me. They found your ashes. I can't believe it, but they found them, so I guess I'm supposed to accept that now, aren't I? I don't know how. I, I can't believe I'm still talking or I'm still standing up or I'm, I'm able to lift up my hand. I don't know how I'm breathing without you. Why didn't you take me with you? Why couldn't I go to? I got nothing here. I, 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 I'm, out, I'm out of stuff to do. You know, I usually have... My universal secrets or some magic or some charms I can work. I don't have it. You listen to me, Kevin Collins, wherever you are. I am with you. And I... I love you. I just wish there was some sort of magic candle. Uh. 
Stay tuned for scenes from the next Port Charles. Superstition. On the next Port Charles. When I look down from that stage tonight, and I see... Wait, 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 wait a minute, wait a minute, to tonight? I, I can't make it. What do you mean, can't? I don't want a package at this point. It's from Kevin. Keep up with all your favorite soaps. Log on to SoapNet.com to chat with the stars, check out our message boards, and to find your SoapNet schedule. SoapNet. Soap watching made easy. Next, catch up with today's soap starting with All My Children. Then it's One Life to Live, followed by General Hospital. Only on SoapNet.